Hello and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 where we're going through Claire's campaign as the second story. And we just saved for the first time using an ink ribbon. So, yay. That's a thing that happened. Um, hmm. I'm wondering... Well, we gotta get into the safety deposit room for... Just so that we can use our weapons locker key. That much is for certain. We're gonna have to get past zombie... One zombie. Maybe two to get there. And then there's probably a couple inside, just like there were with Leon. We are really lacking reliable firepower. Like, it's nice that this fires fast, but it reloads way too slowly to be that useful. Grab some boards. Grab some... Do I want to grab this herb right now? Uh, you know what? I can put away the detonator for now, because we don't need that until we go upstairs. I can also put away that gunpowder. Yeah, this'll do. Three empty spaces going to the weapons locker is fine. So we'll grab this herb. Sounds like they've gone upstairs, and this guy's right here, but nope, can't get by him. Get off me, man. Really? Straight to danger? All right, in here. Hopefully they won't follow us in here. And I guess we'll use our first aid spray. So... Uh... 104. 105. Okay, I should just look. What's... Okay, we need 106, 109... That's what we can open right now. 106. Okay, got some film, I think. Maybe gunpowder. 109. Got some bullets. Give me that goodness. Yeah, that's a photo to develop. And that's some bullets to shoot. And that is... Ooh, is it going to be a grenade launcher? I see flame rounds. It is our grenade launcher. Excellent. Now we have real firepower. So let's change hotkeys for things. Yeah, we want our handgun to be on up. And we want our grenade launcher to be on right. So let's... Ooh, just one at a time, huh? Ooh, that's big. Not as lethal as I was hoping. We know where to find a couple more. But unfortunately, we just used everything we had. That was really wasteful. We could have just gone around them easily. But now we know that we can't rely on the grenade launcher for instant kills. Turn the light off. Develop some film while shining our flashlight directly at it. Hey, look, we need to put a book in the hand. Wow. Kind of already knew that. Lights, please. All right, we kind of need everything we've got. And probably a little more, but I think we'll be okay for now. So uh, we could make acid rounds. I think I want to make acid rounds. At least that way we'll have something to do with our grenade launcher. Without needing to go back for the flame rounds we found on the other side of the station. 
Yeah. I think this is the way to go. Apparently we've missed an item somewhere in here, but that's fine. We'll have to come back at some point. And until we get the spade key, we're not going through the west office, because we can't. So I guess we're going upstairs. And I believe there's a zombie on the stairs. Because that's where he moved to after coming through the window. Really could not have picked a worse thing to do. Oh, where is he? Oh, is he over there? Fine by me. Oh, hey buddy. You wanna you wanna jump down? No? Didn't think so. What the hell is up with you? Oh, if only he fell over the railing. Okay, we've got her, and we've got the uh, the locker room, which, I mean, we've got something for, right? Or no, because we need the valve handle. Oh, right. Forgot about him. So this is C... A... P. And that opens up. Gets us some flame rounds. Nice. And can we open these? More flame rounds. Always appreciated. Nothing. Less appreciated. Got a box that we're going to leave there for now. And instructions to a portable safe we don't have. Yeah, until we get the gem from the statue, which requires us to get the book. Oh, hello. Really, just straight to danger. I hate going just straight to danger. What's even the point of caution if we never see it? Would I even survive a hit if I just use this green herb right now as is? Because if everything's taking us from fine to danger, then it might take us from caution to dead. But I think it's a risk I might have to take. Yeah, I can't risk getting bitten again. Swap to flame rounds. And he's down, hopefully forever. Oh, uh, I don't remember what the combo for this one was. Um, yeah, you can memorize the combinations from the first run and use them in the second run because they're the same for both runs. I did not do that. So we can go through here. And let's just examine this so that it's marked as a spade key. Okay, so if we go this away, we'll get to the stars room, right? No, that's not what this is. Ah, uh, this is where we needed the, the detonator. The star's place was the next floor down. Was it seriously about to let us pick up a gunpowder through the wall? I thought I saw... Yeah. The icon for it shows up, but... Yeah, can't pick it up through the wall. Well, we gotta go back down and get our detonator. Kind of wish I... Really? Thought I killed you. Also... Are you serious? I'm with you, Claire. Is he serious? Reload this thing. Because it's our best bet for getting out of a pinch. Hey, look, it's a pinch. Or is it? 
Yeah, yeah, it is. If I had gone, then there's a chance she wouldn't have been able to turn around in time. But since I delayed, there was no way we were going to get past her. All right. Thankfully, we can get to the item box without trouble. So now we're here. Uh, we can put our boards away. We don't need those upstairs. Grab our detonator. And we've also got the spade key, so we can get back to the main hall. But do we want to right now? I don't know that we do. Simply because if we get back to the main hall, we know there's at least two zombies in it. And that's of no help to us. Yeah, I think going upstairs right now is the thing we're doing. Okay. So up we go. Sounds like someone just jumped over the edge. That's good. And you better not ever stand up again. Oh, these were two separate zombies. Got it. So it does look like one grenade and a shot to the head takes down a zombie. Now we're going in here. Oh, great. More boards. But also, there has definitely been a liquor in here, and there's probably going to be a liquor in here. Swapping to acid rounds, I feel like they would be effective against a liquor. But the liquor doesn't show up until after we blow up the C4, right? All right. Well, we'll grab these bullets. Give this C4 a nice exploding. No, I, I don't need to take that. Do I have to shoot it? I don't have to shoot it, do I? Do I have to examine the thing? Oh, it needs a battery. Where do we get a battery for it? Well, for now, we can go through here. All right. So, so we can't get across there yet. It looks like we do still need the handle for that. No, Claire, don't, don't go down. I didn't want you to go down. I was just moving towards it to try and get a better angle. Do I do this right now? I don't believe so. No, we go across the way. And we're not going to try and walk towards the door there because we know we'll just fall through. Okay, you're going to be a problem, aren't you? Yeah. Flame rounds. It might not even need the bullet. It might just be a matter of having let them burn for just a couple seconds longer. Okay, do we have the code for this one? I don't remember it off the top of my head, but a uh, scrap of paper. So we've got part of the code for the unicorn. But that's it. Hey, look, it's the unicorn. So, unicorn code. People scales something.
Uh, snake? Oh. Fish? Other snake? All right, that's one medallion. We've got one. Oh, what's this? Oh, I bet that has a battery in it. Oh, hey. There. Now we have a space. Yeah, I know how to examine items, game. Do you have a battery in you? Nope. Lion statue code, though. So, do we want to go to the star's office? There's no item box there. We need an item box more than anything. Yeah, we need an item box. Like, badly. So I guess we go to the main hall. Because we have got nothing to increase our storage. Oh, we can't... Er, wait. What, what kind of key? Spade key. We've got that. Let us in. Does the main hall still have an item box for Claire... Oh, there's three zombies in here. That's three too many. And there's no item box. Okay. Um, do I try and bust through the west office and go into the dark room? I guess that's our best bet. Spade key, please come in handy. Still got use, though. So let's just plow on through. No liquor, no liquor. No you either. All right, we got an item box. So we can put this away until we've got a battery. And we can develop this. Develop, please. Okay. Crown fire bird for lion statue. Where is the lion statue? Is that the one in the main hall? Maybe. Oh, we are really not doing great on our ammunition. I've been shooting too many zombies. I really do need to just dodge them where I can. And only kill them as a last resort but sometimes the hallways are just so thin and I'm not good at baiting out attacks and then brushing by them and we've got ammo for a submachine gun we don't own it's definitely going to be a lot harder to just grab everything out of everywhere for Claire uh this was just locked door, not specifically spade key. Uh, that's a spade door. So we can get back to the art room more easily. That's something. Um, oh, the red book. We need that. And then we can take that to the art room and get the gem that we need for this box. Oh, and there's a knife in there, too. We kind of want that. Having a defense item would be nice. Especially considering how much damage we take when we get hit. Do I want to grab that green and red herb right now? I don't think I do. We don't have enough space. Uh, but then again, if I get rid of my unicorn on the way, then we'll have space. And I can get rid of my unicorn pretty easily. I just gotta bust through here, drop it there, go upstairs. Yeah. It's on the way. Now, will this guy be in the hallway? No. Okay, good. Yeah, noises. I get it. 
Whoa! I thought I killed you! Okay. Drop that in. Go past Marvin. Yep, there's the lion. We're not doing great. Go through here. Grab this book. But then back out. Going the other way. Uh, what was the line again? It was Crown Fire Bird? It was. Okay. Uh, but I don't want to take that just yet. I just wanted to open it. So if we go this way... And we can get through here, no problem. No problem. Ooh. I kind of wish I had a red one to combine it with, but just green will do fine. I wish I still remembered the combo for that safe. I really should have taken notes of what all the combinations were from my last playthrough. Yeah, we know about that. Okay. It turns a museum into a police station. Good question. And with this, I think we're done with the spade key? Yes, we are. That's another space open. And now we can bust on in here. Grab hand. Combine book with hand. Wait. Is this an old worn book or is it plastic? Yeah. It's not an old worn book. It's a plastic book. Combine book with hand. Put hand on man. Obtain scepter. Examine scepter. Hey, look. It's got a button. Oh, hi. Just get out. <laughs> All right, we're safe. Well, relatively. You gotta go. Uh, acid rounds? No. Flame rounds. So let's just wait a moment. If she falls, that's great. Okay, good. We do just have to wait a little moment. Would have been better if I could hit more than one zombie with that, though. Yeah, we definitely want to try and make our grenade rounds efficient. Which means more than one kill per. Looks like we can safely deposit our medallion, though, so that frees up a slot. And now, where do we want to go? We we want to get there. So I guess our best bet is into the library, through the storage room, down the stairs, and then into there. There's a lot of risk in that path, but our other option is through the west office where there's a zombie on either side through here where there might be a zombie, then up the stairs. Like, we'll definitely have to go by at least two zombies if we go through the west office. Whereas, if we go through the library, uh, there shouldn't be any zombies on this path. So that should be safe. And then upstairs, there's nothing. There's nothing in here unless the liquor decides to show. And we can go through here. Maybe one zombie on our way. Yeah. Okay. 
Library it is. That's our safe path. Or at least our safest path. Safe is relative. So over we go. No liquor? No liquor. Should I grab the gunpowder? I don't know that we've got space for it right now. We'll be coming back anyway. And then here, there's nothing. I feel like I should be able to, oh, that's a fire alarm thing. We definitely don't want to press that. I was thinking, hey, maybe we can press this, turn the lights on, but no. No, it is very much not that. So we go through here. While we're at it, we can grab these bullets. I do like having them. And is there anything down here? Hello. A red herb. That would have been helpful earlier. It's not helpful right now, though. So let's just go in here. Hope that guy hasn't stood up. He hasn't. Grab this. Combine these. And we get the stars badge. Okay, that, that lets us do things in the stars room. Do we want to go there? We can. There's nothing stopping us. Might be a liquor in the hallway, though. There was last time, as Leon. I definitely don't want to deal with a liquor right now, but it might be our best option at this point, because what else can we do? Like, as far as finding key items goes, I think that's our only option, is going over there. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Really wish I'd been able to find a hip pouch by now. We are not doing so hot on inventory size. But hey, um... Up. We go up. West Office definitely has some nice goodies in it, but we are not equipped to deal with the zombies or to bring home any goodies. What is... Oh, that shadow is from her. Or, yeah. I was like, wait, who is casting the shadow? Alright. Back through we go. So. Oh, more boards. That's right, we've seen those before. Thought I maybe heard a liquor or something. But no, we're good. We're good, we're good. So we come on down here. That guy is busy over there. So we can go through here, no problem. And then into here. Oh, not into there. Dang, so we need to get the valve handle. Where's the valve handle? Dang it. Ah, uh, I don't know where it is. And we don't have that many options of places to go. I guess it must be in one of the offices. Because I don't see anywhere else we can get right now. Because we can't get to this door in the library. Because we'll just collapse the floor, won't we? So yeah, it's... It's got to be in one of the offices, so I guess... We're going to one of the offices. I think East Office might be safer to approach. 
And the fact that it's got handgun ammo is nice, and the fact that it's so close to some flame rounds is also nice. Yeah, I feel like maybe grabbing those flame rounds and then using them in the West office might be our best course of action. Uh, we do have space for a knife, so I should grab the one in here while we're in the area. Provided I can do so safely, which I can. Yeah, I know how to use a combat knife. All right, out we go. Uh, we don't want to deal with you. So we'll take the other stairs, even though we don't want to deal with him either. Okay, fine. You are getting bullets. Die forever. I've spent so much ammunition on you, Marvin. It's not funny. Uh, should I grab that green herb? I feel like I should grab that green herb, but then we won't have space for anything else. Yeah, no green herb for now. Whip this out. Uh, let's take a look in here. All right, we've got you. Are you alone in here? That's kind of sad. I mean, he wouldn't be if we didn't bar that. Uh, what do we got? Gunpowder. We don't need gunpowder right now. Uh, gunpowder, flash. Uh, there's handgun ammo on you, right? That's always good. Definitely welcome. Kind of wish we could reliably blow the head off a zombie with a handgun bullet. That would make things easier. Does that guy not even realize we're here? Is he just there to guard that door? That's what it feels like. But since he is alone in here, and since that idiot's beating on that window instead of coming to this one, I think it is in our best interest to give this guy a little salutation. Alright, so he's down for now. He's gonna get back up, though. Aha! That's what we needed. And there's some gunpowder white in here. Uh, we don't have space! So, we're gonna bust on through here. Get to the item box. Create some space. Still no one beating on these windows. That's very nice. I wonder if anyone ever will beat on these windows. So, item box. You. Uh, what do we put away? Um... I want to be able to grab those flame rounds, so I'm just going to put that away for now. Grab the flame rounds. There's still something in this hallway. And then, what? Uh, we need the star's badge after we use the handle. And wait, can we use that same handle... Here is that no that's a crank handle slot not a valve handle slot so yeah this is just for the shower so we don't really care too much but we do need to have both of these together um if there is going to be a liquor in that hallway i'm going to want acid rounds i think but Let's get flame rounds out. They're really useful for now. Put acid rounds away. Because the knife is helpful. It saves us from damage. And being able to heal any damage we take is also helpful. Uh, I don't like having to make all these decisions. This is supposed to be the easier run in terms of storage space and weaponry and stuff. But it 
it's definitely being a lot more inventory management intensive. So, I mean, I know it's possible to go through this game without ever taking a hit from a zombie. And also without, like, shooting every zombie you come by, but still, I'm not at that level of skill at all. And I also don't have the route memorized. But either way, it's time for this episode to end. So join us next time when we will continue doing stuff. And I'm going to save in between episodes again. So yeah, see you then, friends. <laughs>